on those to 18, 20, a 22 inch, and a 16 inch closure. Uh, when I first got this here, I thought the bundles were so thin, but the webs, the tracks are so long, it more than makes up for the low density of this here. And I really like the webs on these bundles. They are so thick and so well constructed. And they are machine double wefted, which means it should reduce the shedding, but we will see uh, about that later. And this is the 4x4 lace closure. Because I like to wear a center part and side parts, I got the three part lace closure. I've never had that before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. And they also threw some lashes in my package. Nice little surprise there. And of course, there is a care card that tells you exactly how to take care of this hair. Now for the look I was going for, I needed a really deep purple, so I went with the Adore Semi-Permanent Color and Rich Eggplant. I just did a review on crochet braids with a half of dark purple on the ends, and I absolutely fell in love with the color. Now Pigno used this color on one of her styles on her channel, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous, and so I knew it would be perfect for this look. I'm so excited. So I have all my supplies, I have my hair color, I have latex gloves, my mixing bowl, a mixing brush, and also a comb. Now I'm just gonna put some ceramic wrap on my workspace. I got this idea from the Brilliant Beauty and it protects your workspace from getting tack all over the place and making a mess and it makes cleanup a breeze. To control my webs during the dyeing process, I am securing them together with a bobby pin. I got this idea from the Brilliant Beauty too. This is gonna give you the control you need when you need to flip them over and handle them throughout this process. It's gonna make this process so much easier. And now let's get into dyeing the hair. I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up, making sure I get every strand of hair fully saturated. You guys, I end up using one bottle of color for each bundle. So three bundles in the closure, I use three and a little bit of the fourth bottle. And as you can see, I'm taking the purple right into the black because there's a little ombre effect there from the dark roots to the 613. And I wanna make sure I keep that nice ombre effect from the black to the purple. It all blended out seamlessly and you'll see in the finished look. I was actually a little surprised that it took that much color, um, but I wanted to make sure I didn't have any of the blonde peeking through, and again, I had every strand saturated. So I really took my time and just applied as much color as I thought I needed. Luckily, I had enough because I was able to be very generous with this color. To make sure all the hair was saturated at the roots where it's a little bit thicker, I actually went in and kind of separated the hair with the brush and just made sure I got dyed all in between uh, the sections closer towards the root of the hair. You wanna make sure you do this because trust me, you are going to find some blonde areas in there even though it looks like from the surface that you have the hair fully saturated. So make sure you go in there. You can move the hair around with your fingers or you can just use the brush. I actually did both. So you can see right there. See, when I move that hair out of the way, there is a lot of blonde there. So make sure you go through and make sure every strand of blonde has color on it. And then I just comb through the hair a little bit to make sure the color is evenly distributed from root to tip. And so now that I'm satisfied with the level of color, I'm just going to put it in foil and let it process. I actually let my hair process for hours, you guys. This is semi-permanent color, so it's not going to damage the hair and uh, there's no harm in letting it sit a little bit longer just to make sure I have the level of intensity. So I'm gonna let it sit as long as possible so I can get what I want. Now even though the roots of the hair look black on camera, they're actually a natural black. And because I wanted them to be jet black for this look, I went in with the Adore hair color in jet black and I went over the roots of the hair with that color just to darken them up a bit and make them a little bit richer to really pop with that eggplant. So guys, I have all the bundles colored, thank God, because this is a lengthy process. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, geez. But we are almost done. All the stuff is a closure, so I'm just gonna go through the same process of applying the color to the closure. And even though I didn't show it on camera, I did dye the roots of the closure jet black as well. The closure is so small, it goes by so fast. You can really take your time and make sure um, you get the dye right where you want it to be. So 
Once I'm all done with the closures, I'm gonna wrap that in foil to let that process. I let all of the bundles plus the closure process for about three or four hours, you guys. And then I'm just gonna rinse in cold water to lock in the color. And I'm not gonna shampoo the hair, I'm just gonna co-wash it with this Tresemme conditioner. You can use whatever conditioner you want, and I really slather on the conditioner to moisturize and hydrate the hair. Then I put the wig in a plastic bag, pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds to really let the conditioner saturate the strands and took it out and let the conditioner sit for another 30 minutes. And this is what the finished look came out like, you guys. That color is so vibrant and so pretty. Oh, I love this wig. This is one of my favorite wigs, you guys. And so now I'm just going to put her on and style her and you'll see what the finished look turned out like. Watch the videos linked in the description bar below.